What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Now, of course, this one is, I wouldn't call it heavily modified, but it's modified just enough, the game itself. Now, we are currently running two graphics mods. One is an HD graphics mod, and the other is a, uh, like an updated remastered textures mod, and then... Obviously, the car that we're running on the screen right now is not, well, for one, it doesn't correspond to the wheels that are on it because it replaces the old school Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0. Now, this obviously is a Mazda FD RX-7, and obviously, aside from the fact that it is one of the most famous JDM tuner cars of the 90s, it was never really intended to be in this game in the first place, but thanks to mods, which are actually quite simple to install in this game, um, which by the way, if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on how the installation of mods works in the PC version of Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, what's cool about this car is that you can actually... You can use it as you would use anything else in this game. You can get into chases, you can get into races, you can even change the color. Like, this is not the only color that this car is available with. Now, we are actually coming up on the next, kind of, uh, the next, the next opponent in the blacklist in the game. So what we may do is we may jump into a race first, and then after we do that, we'll get into, like, a chase and see what this thing is actually like to drive. So, let's go ahead and go into the easy drive menu, go into races, and let's see. So we've done the first one, which is downgraded. This this one is Sprint Eastward, so let's see, we're 1.6 miles away, that'll give us a little bit of time to kind of get used to the car, drive it a little bit, and you guys can hear what it sounds like and see what it's like to drive. Now, I will say, when it comes to, actually, you know what, I want to go ahead and change the color of the car. What's up, dude? Whoop. I'm surprised, ooh, look at that, that's pretty. I'm surprised that cop didn't come after us. I was like, I was really expecting him to come after us, to be honest. Now, I was also, I was also thinking that, like, this car was going to have a little bit of a different sound. And when I downloaded the mod, it said that the sounds had been changed. But I may have downloaded it incorrectly because I'm pretty sure, I, I'm pretty sure I still have the original sounds. Now, also, another aspect of the Porsche that, that this replaces is when you hit the boost, well... It does not come out of the uh, the normal exhaust pipe location that you would normally expect on the RX-7. What are you? Oh, oh, right. That's a DLC R34. I am pretty dang sure. Now let's make our way on down to where this race is because I keep I keep going off to like other areas and doing other things. I need to stop doing that. By the way, if you guys would like to see more Need for Speed Most Wanted mods, let me know in the oh my god, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh god. May or may not have gotten a little bit of competition. Hang on. Let's see if we can lose these guys. Oh, it's gonna be quick. Okay, yeah, it'll be super quick. There we go. Now we just need to figure a spot to hide. Oh boy. Hello there. Oh. I was gonna literally like hide in this pipe. And I don't think, I don't think it's actually going to make much difference now. We're like at 400,000. Oh, dude, we're actually really close to our battle against the McLaren 12C. Which again, going back to like the era that this game was made in, I remember when the McLaren 12C was a new car. Isn't that mind-blowing? Because I feel like now, in this, like when we look at the supercar space, we think of the 12C as old. Which is so weird. Alright, let's see. Whoa! I gotta really make sure that I don't wind up crashing right off the bat, because I did that in a couple of other races, and it usually results in having to restart quite a few times. But my god, this game looks so good with, like, the graphics remastered mods. Oh! Yep. Yoinked. Well, maybe not, actually. Come on! It really doesn't look too far off of games that get released today. Alright, boo! Oh, there we go. I would say, like, the main thing that dates this game is not even... Oh, crap. Yep, that went well. But no, the main thing that dates this game isn't even so much the graphics as it is the, like, the base vehicle selection. Now, like, look at that. That's a Tesla Roadster, for example. An OG Tesla Roadster. But no, like, if you were to switch out all of the cars in this game for, well, maybe not all the cars, because there are cars from when this game came out that are still really, really cool today. But I think that if you were to add in some new cars, like we've done with mods, and also add in some cars from, like, say, the 90s, like this FDRX7, 
I think you would have a really well fleshed out game. I mean, obviously there would be parts of it that would have to be adjusted, like, you know, the way the multiplayer works and things like that, but I think it's still a really fun game and it holds up. I really think it holds up, especially in terms of fun factor. Come on! Full send, full, oh my God, beautiful. Holy crap, that was gorgeous, come on! Oh, we're almost there. Well, that was not difficult. I feel like we should probably, wow, okay, long gears available, reinforced chassis available. That was not difficult at all. What the, um, I love the AI in this game. They're great. <laughs> oh, they're great. Oh my God. Oh. All right, the fugitive. Now, how far away is that? 2.3 miles, we can do that. Leave me alone. Yeah, ambush, and it's the fugitive, so we get track tires for this. I am so down. Why do I feel like this one? Ooh, lightweight chassis. Track tires and lightweight chassis. That's going to be a proper upgrade for this car. Although, I'm a little bit iffy about getting rid of the armor. Oh, God. May or may not be sur- Oh, right. This is when that, like, weird, wacky cutscene stuff starts happening again. I really don't understand where their brains were when they made these cutscenes. I truly, genuinely don't. Like, it does not make any sense to me. I don't know if they just had a, like, a really, really, really fun night at the studio the previous night that they made these, before they made these cutscenes, but jeez. And then it's just like, oh, no big deal. We're just, like, in a normal chase again. Oh, we get that gigantic, like, drift uh, loop. Come on! Can we drift the whole loop? Oh, dude, we can! Oh my god, dude, that's amazing! I love these, like, continuous drift loop sections. That's so sick. Alright, heat level decreased. Alright, y'all. FDRX7 literally straight into a blacklist race against a McLaren 12C. I think if we drive really consistently and we, like, we take him out as much as humanly possible... We'll be all right. What is this cutscene? I do not remember this. I mean, I know I played through this game, like, all the way through when it first came out, but I do not remember this. Oh! It, like, comes out of the ice. It's so... It's so weird, but, like, really creative, though. When I look back at this, like, nobody does cutscenes like this in racing games, and... I don't know if that's, like, a good thing or a bad thing. You tell me in the comments below. Let's go! Oh, boy. I'm out of boost! Bruh! Alright, well, I'll see you. That wasn't hard. Now all we gotta do is stay in front. Okay. Well, this game is kind of notorious for catch-up physics, but, like... Oh, God! Holy... Wow, I almost absolutely obliterated them. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Uh, take him out! Off you go. Oh, come on. I was gonna say, miss the checkpoint. I was trying to get him to miss the checkpoint, but I know it'll just... I was gonna say, I know it'll just, like, spawn him back where he... He drove through the spike strip with no consequence! Boy! Oh, get him. Oh, dude! I... What the... Did he drop a spike strip on me? I have no idea, because it just... Oh, he's dropping spikes. Okay. Oh, dude, that's like... That is dirty and cheap. Oh, my God. I forgot that those Corvette units would do that. You have to be really careful to not end up behind them. Otherwise, that will happen to... Really? You're pushing freaking traffic cars into me? God, there's like no... Oh, there's no gas stations on this route. Oh my god, the McLaren got yoinked. Oh, I didn't have enough speed! Not having tires really messes you up, doesn't it? Alright, yeah, not having tires is really bad. It really messes you up, and it's not what I need right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get this again. And we're going to skip that intro. It was cool the first run of it, but, like, I don't know about the next run of it. What? 
I was close to him, but I didn't think I was like within like range of like tagging the car. All right, let's give this guy a proper takedown like right out of the gate. He does have a lot more power than I do. Yeet. Oh, come on, yep, refill the nitrous. All right, oh yeah, perfect. That is exactly what I needed. But now, thanks to insane catch-up physics, look how fast he catches up to me. Not to mention, I mean, hey, catch-up physics are one thing, but like, let's not even talk about mustard physics. Oh, around the right side. No spike strips for me. And this thing is like pinned at like 155. Well, 154, 153. Man, they're all over him, but like they do not care about me. Probably because we're all the way out in front. God, if you want to, apparently, if you want to avoid cops in these, uh, in these blacklist races, just stay all the way out in front all the time. It'll be fine. A little bit of a near miss. That should help refill my boost a little bit. Oh my god, I meant to start a drift. That is not how I intended that to go. Not in any way, shape, or form. Alright, come on. Yeet! Alright, the jump worked that time! Go, 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 go! Oh, we totally could do this. Come on! Man, a lot of these turns are too open for me to drift in this thing because we're not going fast enough. There we go. That's, that's plenty tight enough, though. Oh, they're like right in Oh no! Oh, that was a mistake. What? Okay, apparently I'm really dumb and didn't realize the track actually turns there. All right, come on, we gotta catch back up to him because if we don't catch back up to him now, we're only half a mile out and we will lose. Oh, did he wreck? Oh my God, that is the, the perfection, perfection. I cannot believe that we got so lucky for him to wreck right there at the end. Literally the finish is right. No, 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 no. Oh, that was like right here. <laughs> that was so close. Oh my God. That was so close. Yo, that was, wow. That was insane. All right, I'm gonna take this guy down real quick and which I don't think will take long so long as we don't immediately crash out and lose him. The only thing is it's weird. They get faster once they end the race, and I don't know why. Enter cooldown. I mean, is he gonna take himself down? Uh, probably. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wow, I love how he hits the wall. It gives me a perfect opportunity, and then I crash. Like, really? I just gotta keep him in view on my map. And I should be okay as long as I do exactly that. Where is he going? All right, come on. Here we go. Here we go. He's actually heading back towards where the cops are. You dummy. Oh, he took the cop out. Holy smokes. This dude is relentless. Ow. It just feels like his car got faster and mine got slow. Yoink. All right, we're going to have to really line this up well. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to get him. Considering how much slower we are than him. Bro, oh my god. This dude cannot be taken out. He cannot be contained. This is what I get for using a car that's way slower to try to take him down. Did I just see... Did I just see incomplete graphics on the side of the road? I think I saw incomplete graphics on the side of the road. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, did it count? Oh my god, finally it freaking counted. Thank you, McLaren MP412C. Available in Easy Drive and also available for me to replace with another mod should I find one that works with that car. But if you guys enjoyed this video on Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 with the graphics mods and the FDRX7, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.